storm tracers have been multiplying in numbers, some for sport, others for other research projects, some just to make money off the video. But as Mike Bettis explains, the sheer number of chasers is getting in the way of some of the research. It just seems like we're stuck in some rain, we're stuck in traffic right now, which is kind of, I think, a fear of Vortex 2. There, there are probably hundreds of vehicles on this road right now. Vortex 2's fears were realized. There were so many chasers out on the road during the last deployment, it ruined a golden opportunity for valuable data collection. For my operation and for Vortex 2, it meant we did not get dual Doppler coverage on that storm for nearly the periods that we needed to to do our science. It also meant that my array of 16 tornado pods could not get deployed and we did not get low-level wind data in those tornadoes. So science really took a hit because chasers wouldn't let us pass. With reality TV shows, tornado chase tours, along with amateur weather enthusiasts, it begs the question, has tornado chasing gotten out of hand? On the internet, you can see vivid examples of dangerous behavior. Chasers trying to pass on a two-lane road in Oklahoma. They want to get that, that shot. They want to get that video up close. And in doing so, they're risking their lives as well as others. The researchers with Vortex 2 aren't against chasing per se, but safety is a priority, as well as the ability to gather timely tornado information. I think it's great that people appreciate the weather. I support storm chasing. It's just like hiking or whitewater rafting. People are out appreciating nature. But please, let the science vehicles by. We have an important mission. We're trying to make the towns that you live in safer by learning how to make better warnings. The Vortex 2 vehicles stick out like a sore thumb. They all have distinctive badging, and every single vehicle has a flashing amber safety light. If you see the Armada rolling through your hometown, the best thing you can do is slow down, pull over, and give the team the right away. In Central Kansas with Vortex 2, I'm Mike Bettis. Well, with all the weather we've had,